We're here at Brewgrass. This is Chris with the Lexington Avenue Brewery, better known as Lab. Well, today we have our uh, Raspberry Porter on Nitro. It's a uh, it seems to be the hit of the day. I don't know. It's 120 pounds of organic raspberries and a nice, sweet, robust porter bill. It's a really nice beer. Right. Caroline, you tell me what you think. Oh, that's great. Very good. You know, uh, this thing just kind of was going to be a one-off, and uh, it turned out to be a hit. So... We brought that today. We also brought a pale ale that we like to call Appalachi. Appalachi? Appalachian and North Kakalaki. Combined. We get it. We get it. You know, I know you guys get it. Good. Good. It's kind of an indigenous beer. So how many brewgrass have you done? It's my second. It's only my second. Right. I, uh, and I grew up in Marietta. My mom went to Reynolds High School, though, so I kind of grew up here, too. That's right. And uh, I was gone out west for a lot, a lot of years, and finally came back and been here about a year and a half living here in Asheville now and it's been a beautiful thing beautiful thing and so our viewers that don't know where is lab and what are your hours and when do you invite people to come in we would love people to come in any day from I believe it's 11 30 we open till two in the morning at most every night except Sunday and where okay. and uh, downtown Asheville 39 North Lexington Avenue in between uh, Walnut and College next to top for shoes tops for shoes ladies Sounds great. Chris, thanks for being with us. Thanks Enjoy you your having, brewgrass. Man. Thanks for having us, guys. Enjoy brewgrass. Thanks for, uh, you know, all the North Carolina beer that's out here and all the other beer that's out here, man. You know, we, right. uh, it's just a good time, man. Uh, we're honored to be here, and uh, we're honored to be uh, with all these other guys that are around here that are amazing. Great day. Thanks, Chris. Good yeah, seeing you. you guys. Take care. And uh, you guys take care, too. Have fun. Hi, this is, this is Glenn, and we're at the Brewgrass Festival, and uh, we're at the Bucci. A brewery mm-hmm. with yeah. Janine Busher. Janine, you yes. want to tell, we, we were new to Bushi. We don't know what Bushi is. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Well, Bushi is our version of kombucha. It's an ancient fermented drink. It's been brewed for thousands of years, but it's a little bit different than a beer. Um, we open air ferment it, and it actually has a culture of yeast and bacteria. And together, um, they act synergistically, and they create all kinds of organic acids, B vitamins, detoxifying um, components. Um, and it's really nutritious and tasty. Um, it's good to alternate with beers because it's it is detoxifying. It can help prevent hangovers, that sort of thing. So, and, and um, what are we trying to do? Well, we've this got four different good. flavors. Bucci Fire has ginger and cayenne. It's got a little bit of a spicy kick to it. Bucci Air has echinacea, mint, pineapple, lime. Really minty, refreshing. Bucci Unlimited is our most traditional brew. It has just kombucha, a little bit of organic apple cider. And Bucci Water is our newest flavor, and it has elderberry, shishandraberry, coconut water, um, blueberry, um, shishandra, and the elderberry are great medicinals that we like. To, we like to put medicinals in most of our brews. So. Well, great. I appreciate you being with us. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I'm going to go try some and turn the camera off. We'll catch you later. And we're here with the uh, Headwaters Brewing Company. And this is... Kevin Sandifer. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Nice to meet and you. New? Brand new. Just opened four months ago. How's it going so far? Really good. Really good. Your first brewgrass? It is. It is. This is our first rodeo. <laughs> Great. So what did you bring us today? Uh, we've got six beers we're doing today. Uh, we started with a pumpkin ale, uh, a light rye, and then we have an ESB. Uh, later on, we're going to be bringing out a pale ale, uh, our brown ale, and we have a special uh, coconut chocolate porter. Great, great. So, And what's the distribution like for your brew right now? Uh, right now, we're just selling in our tap room. We're getting ready to work into a distribution relationship. So, That's great. And they're in Waynesville, North Carolina, if you don't know. And it's headwatersbrewingcocompany.com. You got it. We appreciate your time. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And we're with Nick Williams of the Weeping Radish Brewery down on the Outer Banks in Grandy and not always in Grandy. Grandy and Jarvisburg. Uh, Jarvisburg. I couldn't remember that. Manio. Right. Uh, no longer in Manio. Now we've got one big facility um, out in just just on the mainland. You know, it's limited real estate space on the island. So we came a little ways for Brewgrass. You came a long way. Well, it's about eight hour drive. Yeah. What a commitment. Ah, uh, well, it's. it's it's good for the cause. Good for the cause. So what did you bring with you today? Um, today we brought with us a uh, traditional German Hefeweizen. Um, a black Radish was a Schwartz beer, a black lager. Um, I also brought an IPA that we do. It's uh, dry hopped with North Carolina hops from Weaverville, North Carolina, just up the road from Asheville. And uh, sometime in the next hour or two, I've got a oak-aged black radish. Um, it was aged in a uh, uh, French oak Pinot Noir barrel that we got right up the road from Sanctuary Vineyards. 
And that's going to be a very limited release, I guess. That's just like one, one cast full? or. Well, I, I, I made about 40 gallons of it, and I brought five up here. So, uh, <laughs> it's all right. It's good. Yeah. Well, it's great seeing you, and, and enjoy Brewgrass. Thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. All right. Cheers. So we're here at Brewgrass with one. We just learned our number one fan came up and recognized us out of the crowd. He said he watched our shit all the time. Absolutely. Woo! Okay, you want to cut that? Yeah. <laughs> really? so, <laughs> try again. All Take right. two. All right, so this is uh, Glenn. We're here at Brewgrass. This guy comes up out of the audience and says he watches our stuff all the time. Love the NC I said, beer this is your chance to be part of the NC Beer Guys. So we're here with Brian from Charlotte. And what's your Brewgrass experience been like? Oh, it's been great so far. This is my first one, and so far I absolutely love it. It's right. incredible. There's so much, so many beers to try. It's uh, it's overwhelming right now, but we're trying to make the round, so. And his, his buzz just quickly dispersed. They didn't want to be <laughs> yeah, on camera, everybody. didn't want to be seen. Everybody jumped out of the background. So <laughs> you got a favorite beer style? Um, I'm really a brown ale, amber ale type, but I'm um, trying to dip into porters and uh, IPAs a little bit while I'm here, you know, because you can try so many different things. So right. just trying to branch out a little bit. Great. And what have you had today you liked? Um, well, I mean, I love, uh, just got out of Lone Rider, so, um, you know, Shotgun Betty and, um, Sweet Josie, love those. Good choices. And uh, Highland, love Highland as well. Gaelic Ale is great. That's great. That's great. We appreciate being with us. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you, sir. Thanks for calling us out. Take Absolutely. care of yourself. Thank Good you. seeing you. Thank you. We're here at Brewgrass in the Lone Rider tent with Galen from Brewgrass. We felt like we, uh, from Lone Rider. We felt like we found somebody from home territory here. Hey, Galen. How has your Brewgrass experience been? Uh, it's been great so far. It's uh, my second year here having a great time. So what did you bring us today from uh, Raleigh? I brought us our core beers. Uh, so we got our Shotgun Betty, the Hefeweizen, our Sweet Josie, which is our uh, brown ale and 2010 GABF gold medal winner. Uh, brought the Peacemaker, which is our West Coast Pale Ale. Uh, on this unlabeled tap here, I have our True Brit ESB, traditional uh, English-style bitters, uh, very balanced, easy-drinking beer. And right here, I have our uh, our breakfast stout, which is going to be our... Uh, one of our most wanted beers for the for the fall. Well, that's great. I appreciate your time. Good luck with Lone Rider. Yeah, enjoy the festival, guys. Thanks. So we're here again at Brewgrass with Billy from Oyster House. How are we doing, Glenn? We're doing all right. Great to see you. Absolutely. Great to be here. Tell us a little bit about Oyster House in general. Uh, we're inside the Lobster Trap restaurant for now, getting ready to move in the next few months to uh, our own space in West Asheville. Okay. We, uh, we're, we're a half-barrel brew house moving up to a gigantic three and a half barrel brew house right, right, right. hopefully uh come january we'll be in west Asheville. we uh are well the main thing of course is the moonstone stout it's a delicious dry stout brewed with oysters right right and what'd you bring today well you had some oyster stout but it's gone it's gone okay we got ipa and we've got some dirty blonde we look forward to trying it i can't wait right thanks for spending your time with us cheers have a great day you too thanks guy Taylor McDermott, yeah, we're, we like beers brewing. We're based in Greensboro. We uh, we're throughout North Carolina. Texas, yeah, we uh, we know the uh, Raleigh location very well. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, we've got a, a brew pub in Raleigh and uh, one in Greensboro as well. So, what'd you bring us here today to brew grass? We've got some fantastic beers. Uh, we've got uh, six different styles today: a barley wine, a Baltic porter, an imperial stout, um, a couple of different sour beers. Our, our Soon to be famous, uh, Flanders style uh, red brown sour. So. Just been packaged and sour, right? Yeah, yep, coming out very soon. Good. Yeah. We appreciate you taking the time away from you. Thanks, guys. Good. Appreciate you supporting North Carolina beer.